<laughs> All right, so beautiful shots here. Oh, makes you want to go on vacation. It's Caribbean American Heritage Month, and we are recognizing a regional artist, a lot of passion, a lot of talent, as you see him there doing his work. So to talk about what is behind his art, we have Dustin Harewood. Thank okay. you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you Thank know, you I mean, me. looking at your artwork, it's, it's colorful, it's playful. Um, obviously, you're inspired by where you grew up, but or where you're you're an American, yes. but where you spent a lot of time in the Barbados. So let's explain. So you are a first generation American, but yes. of course you were inspired to never forget your roots. Absolutely, absolutely. I think I, I had the privilege um, of living in both places. Mm -hmm. So originally New York City, where my parents immigrated from. Okay. Uh, well, immigrated to. to uh -huh. But then I had the chance to go to secondary school, like high school in Barbados. Wow. So I, you know, went from baseball to cricket. <laughs> You're right, I know. Right, from American football amazing? to soccer I, or, you know. But to be so rounded, I mean, that's really cool. And how does that come out in your art? How do you make those connections? Well, I think a lot of my work would be about, these days would be Florida and Barbados mm -hmm. and other places. So this idea of traversing these different spaces so I think that's what the work has become. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about, um, and I'd love to show, you know, more of your work as we're talking, but, sure. you know, living in both places, in New York and Barbados, what are some of the, you know, stark differences you notice or even those commonalities that we can all learn from each other? Stark differences. Well, you know, this is, this is fascinating because even if we were to talk about African-Americans mm -hmm. or, you know, there's, there's blackness, there's, but then there's like this diaspora. Mm -hmm. So like what was fascinating is when I got to Jacksonville, it was interesting how I didn't immediately connect with the black population. Right. It wasn't a natural connection. Yeah, and you would think experience. something like that would be strange. You'd think it would be obvious, but yeah. culturally. It's a different, yeah, it's different. There's so much. There's right. so much that we share, but there's a lot that Let's we talk about talk. that shared experience, because I think that's where we would love to land right now, is what do we have in common sometimes, <laughs> well, and appreciating our differences to that. Well, shared experience, well, it's not like when we're walking around, no one's asking me, uh, what kind of black person are you? Right, right, <laughs> I right. mean, if I just want to be yeah, yeah. straight up. I mean, so all those nuances aren't things until you really get into a space and really get to know folks. Taking the time to yeah. get to know people. And you know, to be honest with you, so Barbados, Barbados is like the farthest east you can get. Technically, it's more in the Atlantic right. more than it's in the Caribbean okay. Sea. So Americans really don't travel there that much okay. because you're going to have to fly over the Bahamas, right, all the places British that you Virgin could Islands, go, Jamaica. Right. Uh -huh. If I said I was from Jamaica, I know the conversation would be much easier. Mm -hmm. Usually when I say I'm from Barbados, you know, yeah. some people pause and they're like, ah. Right. Tell, I know, I know <laughs> but there's this no reference that is hard. It's hard to, to get So what would you like people it? to know about Barbados? Because I know that, you know, your art's important, but I know one of the things you really wanted to talk about is to kind of get this appreciation for your yes. country. Yes. Well, I mean, the fact that it's a very different place. Thank you, Phil Archer. Actually, a high school friend from Barbados who supplied me with these shots of Barbados. Thank you, Phil. I owe you. I owe you. I know he's going to cash that in yeah, later. Yeah. <laughs> um, but things about Barbados. Well, I know you heard in the news recently that we recently became a republic. Mm -hmm. It's one of the few islands that stayed under British control the whole time. A lot of islands switched from French, Portuguese, um, the British. But Barbados was always right. um, held by the British. Right. And um, yeah, so we were always part of the British Commonwealth. Most people from England, Barbados would be the vacation spot. Right, okay. Look, we could talk all day, Dustin. <laughs> They're rapping me hard in my ear, but uh, I, I appreciate it. I want people to know um, you see his passion. Um, you should see his artwork even more as well. So Dustin Harewood, yes, that you can yes, check him yes. out on um, Instagram and see his yes. work. That is Come for sale. Me. I know, and, I love it. And wait, wait, shout out to the Prime Minister Yes. and our new president, all women and Rihanna, who's recently officially right. announced as a national hero. Right. A lot of exciting things right. going on Thank in Barbados Dustin. right now. All right, all right, check them out. Do your research. We'll be back after the break. All right, cool. Boom. All right.